Here's one I made earlier as an exhibition showcasing the history of BBC Children's Broadcasting. Hosted for the last three months at the Lowry Theatre in Salford Quays, this is the last week it will be open to the public. The exhibition, here's one we made earlier, was inspired really by having on our doorstep BBC Children's Television, who moved next to the Lowry a few years ago. The Lowry regularly does exhibitions that looks at performance in its broadest sense and we really wanted to start looking at television. So the idea to work with BBC Children's about an exhibition that looks at BBC Children's television seemed too good to pass up. The exhibition presents all the shows the station has produced over the last 90 years, as well as documenting the different mediums the station has adopted in order to stay up to date with its vastly changing audience. The show begins in the early 1920s where basically children sat in front of the radio while someone read them stories, right up to the present day when children call the shots. They decide what they're going to watch and when they're going to watch it. My kids seldom sit in front of the telly. They'll watch television on the iPad, on the iPod, on the iPhone. With appearances from Bill and Ben, Bagpuss, Teletubbies, Crackerjack, Puzzle Brush, Newsround and Blue Peter, the treasured memories of the British people's childhoods have been reminiscent and valued this summer. The exhibition runs until Sunday the 12th of October and is free to the public to explore. Jim Scott, Keys News.